Welcome to the Big Promo Cast with Ember and Rich. In this podcast, Ember and Rich discuss the world of marketing, branding, and promotional products. Now, here's Ember and Rich. Wowee. Let's see if this is working. I'll bounce over here real quick and see if I can. Anyway, this is the Big Promo Cast. We're trying to see if uh, we're live. Ah, it looks like we're live on Facebook. That's pretty cool. Let's go to Facebook itself and see if we're live. This is new for us. We're doing our podcast live today. Amber, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good, good. My name's Rich, uh, and that's Amber. Yep, we're live there. And let's see if we're on YouTube at the same time. And are we? Let me refresh that. And yep, okay. Looks like it's all working. I just hope we're getting sound because sound was questionable. Um, how are you? How was your week? My week was pretty good. Good, cool. Yeah. Anything exciting new and happened with you? No. <laughs> we had uh, some sad news this week. You know that. Lisa's father passed. So we had his funeral yesterday, and it was a good time. Actual Marines showed up and did a service, folded a flag, and played taps and all that stuff. It was really, really impressive, really, really moving, really somber. It was awesome. And uh, sent him out with a bang, so we had a good time. All right. It wasn't a good time, but you know what yeah. I mean. It was, uh, but anyway. Um, Anything new in your world? I know that Mr. Husband got some, uh, got, a, <laughs> got kind of upset as his, his opponent is putting, I don't know, putting out cheap advertising. Oh, he's not upset at all. <laughs> he's he not? is excited. Oh, good. Okay. Because his opponent has been doing this for 35 years, yeah. and it's uncommon for him to be. Uh, advertising. Oh, is that right? But, yeah, because it, because he often has no competition. Yeah. Um, he's been in office for 35 years. It's not like nobody knows who he is. Yeah. And he just keeps getting reelected. So the fact that he's actually putting out advertising. Um, that means you're making you're making him uncomfortable. Exactly. Interesting. Well, maybe he can dig into that money they found in his closet, <laughs> the FBI thing or whatever. <laughs> Way back when, yeah, or in the back of his Bentley. I mean, geez, Louise, what does he make? Eighty grand a year? I mean, what are you making that job? Um, well, I I don't know right now because they're actually just uh, they're talking again about. Oh, that's right about raises. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. You don't make enough to do what he's done. He has made crazy money. Oh yeah, by pff, conniving and. You know, he finds out the city's going to put a road through or they're going to buy some land. So he goes and buys it first or he gets his mm -hmm. buddies to buy it or whatever. So, oh, yeah. You know, we got to get rid of people like that. Term we gotta get rid limits. Of like that, so, what'd you say? Term limits. Term limits. How about just vote him out and put him in jail? Well, I mean, they tried okay, to put that, him in jail. It never that, worked. But yeah. Anyway. <sighs> what fun. Well, cool. Let's, uh, let's hope it works out. Um, I'm excited about it, though. I'm, I'm excited to see some stuff change. Um, but anyway, what you got to talk about? Did you know today is International Day of Charity? No. Yep. Uh, I think North Texas Giving Day is coming up like in September 17th. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. But this is, um, like the UN started, oh. uh, International Day of Charity huh. and it's September 5th of every year. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Are we doing anything to commemorate that? Um, I did something last night that I didn't realize today was International oh. Day of Charity. What did you do? <laughs> um, I I think it counts. I um, helped out a friend who's trying to move. Oh, that cause, helps. Sure. Because he's it's one of those situations where either he moves or he's going to be homeless, and so oh gosh, uh, yeah. So um, that's terrible. What's going on in the world? A bunch of people. Um, Is he getting evicted? The, I, I don't know all the details, oh, yeah. but a bunch of people, you know, rallied together and were donating oh, cool. money and stuff. So awesome. Well, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, that is good. Makes you feel good to do stuff for people. Yes. Yes, it does. Um, I like to, uh, there's a couple of corners in town that I drive by and I always keep four or five bucks in cash in my car just to hand out to guys on the corner that are sitting out there in a hundred degree heat. And, you know, yeah. Get a bottle of water. I ought to carry around a nice chest full of water is what I ought to do, but. Anyway, could be me someday, so yeah. So I, so I don't mind paying it, paying it forward or paying it backward or whatever that is. <laughs> um, 
Anything else? What else you got? Um, so, Girl Scouts have yeah. redesigned their uniforms for the first time in 20 years. Interesting. Um, like, that was back when I was a Girl Scout. <laughs> huh. Um, so, now they're becoming more fashionable, um, but they're also updating it for, you know, 21st century right and um, the vest they've they've got 18 new pieces they've put out but the vests now have a pocket the size of the largest iphone <laughs> so that way they can keep their phone on them gosh now i mean these are middle school and high school girls yeah um and i guess i understand like if they're if they're doing their selling cookies thing and their mom goes inside the store, like needing to be able to contact mom or whatever, mm -hmm. that's something that was not a thing when I was a kid. Right. So the uh, one of the designers, her name is, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, uh, Nitty Basin. Uh, she's one of the... Welcome oh, to the big promo cast. Ah, sorry, Amber, Amber hit the wrong Rich. button. In this podcast, Amber and Rich discuss... <laughs> That's no good. No good at all. <laughs> oh, I broke it. Our stupid... Well, there you go. Live TV, <laughs> that's how it happens. I wonder if I can go in here and... Let me turn this off and delete. Now, if I hit that, it's going to play it again. Welcome how to the big it? promo cast Stop with it. Amber. Anyway, that's what I wanted right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop playing with it. Sorry. Um, so Nitty Basin, mm -hmm. uh, she's one of the designers and she's also a former Girl Scout. Okay. Uh, she's quoted saying, today's Girl Scouts are the next generation of leaders. So we needed to make sure they dress the part so they can continue to take on this world. Interesting. And that makes sense. I mean. You said you were a Girl, Girl Scout? Uh-huh. How long ago? Oh, God. About 20 years ago. <laughs> you remember that um, the Girl Scouts, I mean, the Boy Scouts recently said they could let girls in. Yes. And it freaked the Girl Scouts out. Yep. Because now, I mean, do you think they're losing people or not? I don't know. Um, I don't know how all that fl shaked out or shook out or whatever. I don't, um, what was that, three or four or five years ago? Something like that, yeah. Hmm. No, no. That just it reminded me when you when you brought that up what that was. They probably haven't lost people because mm -hmm. of the whole cookies thing. Right. Um, I mean, I know when I was in Girl Scouts and when my sister was in Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. um, cookies were the thing. Yeah. That was why a lot of girls got into Girl Scouts. Weird. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's weird. It just. I mean, you can win prizes yeah. and shit like that so. i guess i got into boy scouts for camping and that kind of stuff but i don't know i don't know why i don't even know why i quit but i guess just high school too old for it that kind of thing yeah um when did when were you were you in it when you were a little kid like brownies yeah did you ever do campfire mm -hmm. my sisters were campfire girls or bluebirds and then campfires <laughs> why are you laughing that's what they called it. Yeah, oh. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were, <laughs> you were like, oh, that was a funny thing. Like, anyway, maybe I was thinking I had it wrong. That's all. Uh, anything else about that? Nope. Um, you ever watch Conan O'Brien? Yeah, every once in a while. He's doing a thing now. You know the cardboard cutouts on the baseball games, right? Yes. Well, he's doing a thing where you can send your picture in and you can be in his audience, <laughs> which is pretty fun. Um and so far, he said he's, uh, this week, I think Thursday, he said that 15,000 people had sent their picture in. Wow. So you take a funny picture of yourself. You can go to teamcoco.com slash cutout and get your picture. And maybe you can hold your product in the picture. That would be cool. I know one guy had his dog. <laughs> uh, another guy had his T-shirt from probably from his company on. I forget what it was. Um, but it was one of those startup. Mm-hmm something dot co companies that was on his shirt so that was in the audience so anyway maybe able to get some free ads if yeah you, if your facial express is good enough for for coco to let you do it i wonder if i can play this video nah i don't want to get involved in that They'll probably screw up everything uh that's all i have about that 
I thought that was interesting, though. Oh, I need to bounce over here. Damn. Welcome to the Big Promo right. Cast with Amber and Rich. In this podcast, I Amber and Rich I discuss it. the world of marketing, oh. branding, you know what? and promotional do products. Now, Sorry. here's Amber and Rich. Rich. Every time I switch back to that main one, it screws up. So I'm going to turn that all the way down. And just to try it. Yep. Okay, cool. So we're good. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Hey. I don't think anybody's watching, though. I think we got one viewer, and that's me on one of my browser windows. Um, what else you got? Uh, let's see here. Did you hear what Dairy Queen is doing already? Uh, I know about it now. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy Queens in Texas are already offering ugly sweaters. Cool. They are, um, I actually printed out a picture, but I'm probably too far to be able to show you it. You can't just hold it up there? Yeah. Okay. Um, or I could pull it up on the screen. Look at look on the iPad in front of you. Okay. See if it's there. Oh, yes. there it is. Okay, yes. awesome. All right, so <laughs> it's... It's an ugly sweater with the elf shoes going uh, on. I like that. Um, I do, too. They're pretty cute. And, you know, they're good for ugly sweater contest, office parties, family photos, you know, whatever. Um, That's awesome. But my thing is they started doing this at the end of August. Well, you know, they've got to take orders for them and they got to make them because I'm sure they didn't make 10,000 of them. That's true. Because you never know what size. You're going to sell more XLs or smalls. So you take pre-orders and then you make them. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's why they're doing it. That and would make sense. And they want people to have them counted by Thanksgiving. So that probably works out. Yeah. Um, and then you can wear it all December. But you're right. It's it's like putting Christmas out at Kmart at, you know, or at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> Target or Walmart <laughs> is what I mean. <laughs> Before, um, put it out before before Halloween, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I get it. Yeah, it's uh, everything in due time. But yes. they've got to they've got to they've got to get th this item in particular is it's not like a, a stocking that you have that you have to make a bunch of that are all the same. So. Right. So that makes sense. It's all right. Um, any other thing about that? Any other news about that? No. No. Let's see what else I have here. I don't know if this is the right way to do this or not, using these windows like this. Get rid of Conan. Impossible Foods, car wash. Impossible Foods took over a car wash. You know what Impossible Burgers are, right? No. Oh, you don't? No. It's a plant-based, meatless hamburger. Okay. That's awesome, they say. I haven't had one. But, they like, they sell them at Burger King. You oh, get an okay. Impossible Whopper. But um, they went to... Am I the right thing? Yeah. They went, They took over a car wash, and they gave out all kinds of swag, and they grilled burgers for people as you got your car washed. Nice. It's a way to socially distance and get the word out. So, because um, you can eat in your car, I guess, in the car wash. And then they were also passing out swag. If you look at the screen, you see there's little photos from their Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. that says, uh, you know, has all the, the, passing out those bags, things like that. They also gave out these DIY French fries. Which are basically, well, they're not basically nothing. They're potatoes with stickers on them that say DIY French fries. <laughs> that's a pretty cheap promo. Yeah. How much does a potato cost? A quarter? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's awesome. The stickers cost more than the potatoes did. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, uh, but yeah, you're, you're not a vegetarian or vegan or anything like that, right? No. But I mean, I enjoy vegetarian products. Um, you should check those burgers out. They're kind of expensive for burgers, but they're, I don't know. People think they're weird because they taste so much like a hamburger. <laughs> and a lot of people, frankly, don't believe it. They think hmm. it's a lie. So, anyway, I'm going to switch back to you. Go to your story. What is that? You hear people talking? Yes. Is that in that in the office? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not on our thing, right? No. Okay. Cool. Come on, computer. I'm ready. Okay. So there was a survey done uh -huh. that 60% of employees are dealing with burnout from COVID-related uh, work changes. Interesting. That has gone up 
from 45% when the pandemic stuff started in what March. Get, what are you getting burned out on? On Zoom calls or pressure or just or what? Yeah, a lot of it is because they're working from home. Mm -hmm. And so many people have a hard time saying, okay, I'm going to work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then I'm putting my computer up. Yeah, they're, I get it. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to get wrapped up in it all day long. Or just, oh, I'll go on for 30 minutes and catch up, and you're two hours later, you're still there. Yep. And you haven't seen your family or watched TV. It's, yeah. It's Yeah, I get it. And you feel guilty for watching TV. Like, I could I could be doing all this stuff. I could be getting so caught mm -hmm. up. It's horrible. Yeah. I definitely deal with that. I, I don't get burned out because I force myself to, like, yeah. pull away. Do you get your company email on your phone? No. Do you purposely when you, when you went uh, good when you went away last weekend, to East Texas? Mm -hmm. Did you take your laptop with you? Nope. Man, that's fantastic. <laughs> My husband would have killed me. <laughs> well, I'm just asking, yeah, because I know you were going in a, and there was a potential of a rainstorm, and you might have had some downtime just sitting in a cabin while it was raining like crazy. Yeah. So I didn't know if you took it. I can't even now. I mean, shit. Ten years ago, we went on a cruise, and I could not go without a laptop. We were only, we were, went Thanksgiving week, so my only real business days were Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And internet on the boat was expensive. Come on, people, really? <laughs> anyway, in case you hear that, that's our office mates making all kinds of rackets. So. Yes. <laughs> Should have hung up our little sign <laughs> on the air. But anyway, I, uh, I just don't want to... Um, what was I talking about? Um, it's, I would love to be able to get away and leave everything at home. Yeah. And and not be so glued to what's going on. Yeah. It's it's hard to do, like, when I'm packing and stuff. If I'm, like, uh, the weekend that I took with my husband. Mm -hmm. It was hard to not stick my laptop in my bag. Right. But once I was out there, I wasn't even thinking about work. Well, I... I'll make up a stupid excuse like Facebook and take pictures and maybe I'll do some writing and I know I wouldn't do any of that stuff. Yeah. I know that I would get on there and open email and start responding to people like a dope. And so, yeah, <laughs> I got to figure out. Well, first of all, I got to figure out somewhere to go. I can't. I would love to get away for four days and not. But there's no, I mean, everywhere you go, everything's closed. Yeah. Or I don't know. I'm not a big camper. Maybe I need to figure out how to camp. Maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah. But, you know, maybe if it cools off, because I'm not going to go out and sit in 100 degrees for nothing. It's starting to cool off here. Yeah, it is. Not soon enough, though. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've got one more good one. Wait, was that you or me? That was me. Head count? Oh, no, it wasn't head the, count. It was no. burnout. Yeah, the burnout. Burnout. Got to burnout. So I found a few tips. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> I found a few tips on oh. um, avoiding burnout. Is that the uh, Healthline yes. Guide to Burnout thing? Okay. Yes. I have that up on the screen now. And okay. I'll put that in the show notes. Um, exercise helps prevent burnout. Okay. Because you're moving, you're getting your uh, the serotonin pumping in your brain. Mm -hmm. um, eating a balanced diet. Okay. Apparently, foods that are filled with omega-3 fatty acids uh -huh. are a natural antidepressant. Okay. So that can help keep you going and moving and feeling less depressed about what all you're doing. Okay. Practice good sleep habits, okay. which is, that's almost a given Right. Um, when you're sleeping well, you're better focused and you're also <laughs> spending time sleeping instead of working right. <laughs> and then asking for help. That is the tough. It is tough, but that's like the number one thing that you can do that so few people do. Right. Because hmm. if you're asking for help then you're getting assistance. You're not doing as much on your own. You're not 
feeling as bogged down by everything Mm -hmm. and you've got the teamwork thing going right to where you're feeling more connected with other people Hmm. cool i just thought of something we didn't do this i didn't do this I think I screwed up something. (laughs) Anyway, we'll see. Open. Come on. Where is it? Default. Okay. Well, I may have forgot to start press record on the the podcast part of this. So we may be doing all this for nothing. But anyway, (laughs) we'll see what happens. 20 minutes. Um, I think that's all I want to do. I don't... um, I'm worried about the the tech issues here. Uh, oh, you know what? I do have one more thing. Is that cool? Can I do one yeah. more? Uh, away luggage. Do you know what that is? Mm-mm. They have luggage that has all kinds of cool compartments and rechargers built into them and batteries and all that stuff. Okay. They started a campaign. Posters that smell. Interesting. They um, Because their revenue dropped like crazy because nobody's traveling. Right. And, you know, I think even before, like, they have those batteries built into those luggage. Uh, not really a good idea because those batteries blow up in the planes. Oh, so yeah. So I don't know if they're a TSA thing or not. But anyway, they made travel posters. Um, and the posters themselves are kind of cool, but they, um, but a lot of them are, they have smells. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like one's, it's actually for like when you're walking your dog and the dog smells it and the dog walks up to the poster. That's what it's for oh. on the street. So Interesting. Like one's, uh, the Yosemite one smells like cedar. Buenos Aires smells like meat. Uh, catnip smells like Cairo. I mean, Cairo smells like catnip. I don't know. I think it's funny. Um, I'd hate for him to put legit smell, like the smell of a stinky city. Yeah. <laughs> like New York or Chicago or Dallas or whatever. I think it would be funny, but... I don't know. There's all kinds of people are clever. Yes. They do what they do. Uh, you want to do one more? Or do you have any more? That's all I got. Uh, the only other one I had was uh, 10 books. I'll say that 10 advertising books. Um, well, next time I need to, uh, I guess we're going to sign off on this one. Bye, everybody. Uh, next time I need to get all this tech stuff worked out before we push the button. Probably a good idea. But I thought I had it worked out, and then things started flying all over the place. So I never, I, I know how to switch from the start one to the side by side ones, but switching back to the start one, I got to take that intro out of it. So anyway, it's my own fault. Anyway, for the first one, it's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to, I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody. Bye.